Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can delete individual system restore points and also mount them in case you want to access the files within that restore point. So normally if you go to system restore, so of course system restore has to be enabled in order to access your restore points. So you can make them manually, sometimes Windows will make them before major updates, uh, sometimes the software you install will make them as well. So if you click on System Restore, you can see your restore points, but you can't do anything except for apply one of them. You can't view them or delete a specific one. If you go to Configure, you could delete all of them, but not just one of them. All right, so the program we're going to use to view our system restore points and also delete them and mount them is called System Restore Explorer. So this is an old program and you have to install uh, the .NET 3.5 framework to use it. So I'll put a link in the description for that. So once you install that, then you could install System Restore Explorer. Then you just run it. And then you see your restore points here. Then you could click on one and you can see you could delete them or mount them. So this one's already mounted, so let me unmount that. And let's say I wanted to view this one, I could click on Mount. It'll open up in File Explorer. And it puts it on your C drive under the shadow copy name here. So you can see here are the files. If I go to the desktop of that user, you can see it had this shortcut here for Niobe. And it doesn't have that now. So that tells us that it's a different restore point. And then when you're done, you could just simply click on it and unmount it. Now let's say we wanted to delete this restore point here. Just click on it. Click on delete. Say yes. Okay, so now let's go back into the regular system restore. And you can see we just have the two and that other one has been deleted. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download System Restore Explorer. Then once you install the .NET 3.5, just install that and you'll be up and running. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.